Here's a surprising fact, your fitness journey may start right from your couch. That's right, picture this. Me, a self-proclaimed couch potato, lounging around munching on chips, binging on the latest Netflix series. Sounds familiar, doesn't it? Now imagine that same person. Me, transforming into a beacon of fitness inspiration. Sounds unlikely, doesn't it? Roll back a few years and you'd find me struggling with the idea of fitness. I was overwhelmed by the thought of starting. The sight of a treadmill would make me break into a cold sweat. The mere mention of a burpee would make me want to bury myself under a blanket. It was a daunting world and I was standing on the edge, afraid to dive in. I faced all the typical struggles, the lack of motivation, the fear of failure, the dread of pain. I was stuck in a loop of I want to and but I can't. And I'm sure many of you can relate to this. It's not easy to break free from that comfortable cocoon of inactivity. But here's another surprising fact. I did break free, and you can too. I started small with minor changes. I swapped the chips for apples, the soda for water. I started taking short walks around the block, then longer ones. My progress was slow, but it was progress nonetheless. Each step, however small, was a victory. And then came the day when I dusted off my old running shoes and stepped into the gym. It was scary, but I was determined. I was ready to embrace the pain, ready to push my boundaries. I want you to know that it's okay to be afraid. It's okay to feel overwhelmed. It's okay to struggle. But what's not okay is giving up on yourself. Believe me, the journey of a thousand miles does begin with a single step, and sometimes that single step starts right at your couch. So dust off your fears, embrace your journey, and remember, you don't have to be great to start, but you have to start to be great. And so, as every journey begins with a single step, mine started from the comfort of my couch. This, the first steps in any journey are the hardest and fitness is no exception. You see, embarking on a fitness journey isn't about leaping into rigorous routines right off the bat. It's about starting small and gradually building up your strength and endurance. Now, when I first started, I was as much of a beginner as one could be. My initial exercises were simple and might even seem laughably so to some. A few stretches here, a couple of squats there. But remember, Rome wasn't built in a day and neither is a fit body. The importance of starting small cannot be overstated. It's like learning to walk before you run. You wouldn't want to jump into a marathon without proper training, would you? Similarly, in fitness, we need to condition our bodies gradually, increasing the intensity of our workouts as we grow stronger. But let's be honest, it wasn't all sunshine and rainbows. There were difficulties, or plenty of them. There were days when my muscles ached so badly I could hardly get out of bed. There were moments when I questioned if it was all worth it. But each time I reminded myself of why I started. I wanted to be healthier, stronger, and happier. And so I pushed on. Overcoming these obstacles wasn't easy, but each hurdle crossed was a victory. Every time I managed to do one more push-up or run an extra minute without stopping, it felt like a win. These small victories were my motivation, my fuel to keep going. And then there was the sweat. Oh, the sweat. You know, there's, there's something incredibly empowering about sweat. It's almost like your body's way of showing you that you're making progress, that you're working hard. With each step, each drop of sweat, I could feel myself growing stronger and not just physically. The strength I gained wasn't just in my muscles, but in my spirit. Each workout was a testament to my determination, my resilience, and that, my friends, is the true power of fitness. It's not just about the physical transformation, but the mental and emotional one as well. Fitness is a roller coaster filled with exhilarating highs and challenging lows. Just like the wild ride of a roller coaster, my journey to fitness had its own ups and downs. There were days when I felt invincible, like I could conquer the world with a single dumbbell swing. And there were days when the weight of my own expectations felt heavier than any barbell I could lift. Let's talk about the victories first. They were the adrenaline rushes that made me feel on top of the world. Every time I pushed past a personal record, ran a little further, or mastered a new yoga pose, it was a win. I remember the thrill of finishing my first five-kilometer run without stopping. That rush of accomplishment, the feeling of triumph was intoxicating, but then there were the setbacks, the days when my muscles screamed in protest, when the scale refused to budge, when a simple flight of stairs felt like climbing Mount Everest. These were the lows. They were tough, they were disheartening, and yes, they sometimes made me question if it was all worth it. But here's the thing about lows. They are the stepping stones to highs. They are the grit that polishes the diamond. Every setback was a lesson, a chance to learn more about my body, my strength and my resilience. They taught me patience, perseverance and the importance of listening to my body. 
Mental strength, I learned, is just as important as physical strength in this journey. It's the mental toughness that gets you up for an early morning workout, pushes you to complete that last rep, and helps you bounce back from a setback. It's the driving force that keeps you going, even when the going gets tough. Through every high and low, I learned more about myself and my capabilities than I ever had before. Each victory made me stronger, each setback made me wiser, and in the end it's not just about the destination, it's about the journey, it's about the highs and the lows, and the beautiful roller coaster ride that is fitness. The transformation isn't just about the body, it's about the mind and the spirit. This statement rings true on all levels. The physical changes, as significant as they were, only tell a part of the story. The real magic happens beneath the surface where the seeds of transformation are planted deep within the mind and the spirit. As my body began to change, so too did my mental state. I discovered a newfound confidence that I never knew existed. I was no longer just a spectator in life, but an active participant. I was no longer defined by limitations, but by possibilities. This confidence wasn't just confined to the gym, it seeped into every aspect of my life. It was as if I'd found a key to a door that had been locked for far too long, but the transformation didn't stop there. The mental shift also led to an emotional one. I learned to love myself, not for how I looked in the mirror, but for who I was as a person. I found joy in the journey, not just the destination. I learned to appreciate the struggle, for it was in the struggle that I found my strength. I learned to embrace the pain, for it was in the pain that I found my power. The physical changes were indeed remarkable. But the transformation of the mind and the spirit was truly extraordinary. I became healthier not just in body, but in mind and spirit. I became stronger not just in muscles, but in resilience and determination. I became happier not just in moments, but in life. The transformation was real, and it was more than just what the mirror showed. It was a journey of self-discovery, of empowerment, of growth. It was a testament to the power of determination, the beauty of resilience, and the magic of believing in oneself. And most importantly, it was a reminder that no matter where we start with the right mindset, the right spirit, and the right amount of sweat, we can transform not just our bodies, but our lives. The transformation was real, and it was more than just what the mirror showed. The journey doesn't end here. In fact, it's just the beginning. You see, the road to fitness isn't a sprint. It's a marathon. It's not about quick fixes or overnight transformations, but rather about consistency, perseverance, and a commitment to your well-being. From the first day I swapped the remote for dumbbells to the day I crossed the finish line at my first five kilometer run, it's been a roller coaster of sweat, tears and laughter. But every drop of sweat, every moment of struggle has been a stepping stone on my path to a healthier and happier life. And this journey, it's not just about physical transformation, it's about mental transformation too. It's about learning to love your body, not for how it looks, but for what it's capable of. It's about pushing your limits, challenging your beliefs, and discovering the strength you never knew you had. You see, the beauty of this journey is that it's never ending. There's always a new goal to set, a new milestone to reach, a new personal record to break. And with every step forward, you're not just becoming fitter, you're becoming stronger, more confident, more empowered. And this journey, it's not something you have to undertake alone. There's a whole community out there cheering you on, sharing in your triumphs and lending a hand when the going gets tough. So don't be shy. Join us on Instagram and TikTok. Let's embark on this journey together, sharing tips, tricks and plenty of laughs along the way. So what are you waiting for? It's time to lace up those trainers, to set those goals and to embark on your own empowering journey. And remember, it doesn't matter how slow you go as long as you don't stop. Remember, fitness is not a destination, it's a journey. And every step you take is a step towards a healthier, happier you.